Isia Pietro Fiotki. Mr. Chair, Mr. esteemed colleagues, today marks a major milestone under the Green Deal with the publication of the European Climate Law, which legally enshrines the 2050 climate neutrality target. On the other hand, I have some serious reservation about the Commission proposal to revise the old post-2030 climate targets via delegated acts, which are a very weak legal instrument and therefore ineffective, in my opinion. To be very frank, well, moreover, given the breadth of the European Green Deal, it is imperative that all the policy initiatives are truly impact assessed, especially considering the increased 2030 targets. To be very frank, the CR Group uh, is opposing an increase on the gas emission reduction targets, also because it would undermine legal and regulatory certainty, as expressed several times by the previous Commission. In order to sum up uh, the ECR position, I would like to state the following. Number one, do not change the targets. I would like, well, with, stay with the Paris Agreement. Number two, focus on impact assessment from a technical, socioeconomic, and industrial point of view. We want more in-depth planning and less rhetoric and climate symbolism. Number three, put pressure on third parties to follow our path. They already mentioned several of my colleagues, but without a global teamwork, and I'm referring again to the US, China, and India especially, the European effort will have no significant impact on the global climate and will cause the destroyal of our economy. I would like to conclude in a slightly uh, unconventional way, if I may. First of all, I personally wish to thank Ms. Thunberg for her important role in raising public awareness on this fundamental topic. At the same time, I would like to give an advice as a father giving advice to a daughter. Go back to school and go back to a normal life. Your childhood is as precious as the climate. And if you don't do something about it, you will lose it forever. As if we do not do anything about the climate, we will lose it forever. Thank you very much. Well, she knows more about science, more than a lot of us. Uh, Sylvia Modig for the GUE.